I enjoyed the last Chilla's art game so much that uh, I decided I wanted to just go right in and play some of their other stuff. This one is called The Convenience Store, aptly named because it's about, I guess, a convenience store. It's about somebody working at a convenience store. That's about all I know. But we're going to find out more. As with uh, the other game, it seems to be a running theme that there, there doesn't seem to be a way to save the game. So I'm actually recording this uh, earlier on in the day because I don't know how long... I don't know how long it's going to take. Got me gin and tonic. A clever trick with gin and tonic. Whoops. It's okay. It's just over my pants. No big deal. If I don't fill things up over the keyboard, <laughs> this spill. Clever trick with the gin and tonic is uh, if you use an actual ice tray, which you probably don't, uh, make your ice cubes out of tonic water. And that way, the when the water melts, it doesn't dilute the flavor. These are my coasters. High tech. All right. Uh, I've only run this a little bit. I've, I just kind of started up to see if it would uh, it would run because I noticed there there's a couple of the sorry there's a couple of games um, from Chilla's art that don't seem to run on my system. They just crash. And I don't know how to fix that. Um, but once again, it is in Japanese. I will try to read the subtitles if I can. I'm not wearing my glasses right now because my I need new I need new lenses. They're just so bad. So I'll do my best. Let's go. That sounds very it sounds like a copy store. It sounded like a copy machine going there. Why do we have black screen? Oh no! Alright, let's try that again. Alright, I'm gonna try launching it directly from Steam. There it goes. It's time. Need to get ready for work. Oh, probably not such an epic. Should be more like, uh, it's time. I need to get ready for work. Uh, or maybe enjoy your job and just like, oh boy, it's time. I need to get ready for work. More power to you. This is very familiar. Uh, I. Didn't go too far. Slept well. Good for you. Going to work at 11.35 uh, p.m., I'm assuming. Night shift. Hey, you know. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, a little chinchilla on the table. Is that because the developer's chilla's art? It's adorable. It's a stuffed chinchilla. It's not a real chinchilla. That would be. That would have been nice. I like chinchillas. They're adorable. They're fluffy faces. It's dark outside. Yes, it is dark outside. It's eleven thirty-five at night. I would assume it would be dark outside. Is that the convenience store? And that is really depressingly dark too. Like <laughs> very dystopian looking. It's great. All right. Can't go out that way. Can I play with the chinchilla? Pour some coffee or tea or whatever? No? 11.30 at night, probably want some coffee to keep you going. Microwave. Ooh, 
Man, you better take care of that. That's going to be, uh, ooh, it looks like black mold. Yeah, that's not good. You don't want to be reading that. That was a very 90s looking television. Is that a, is that a VCR? <laughs> I can't tell. It doesn't look, looks like maybe it's like a DVD player or something. Old composite cable. Yeah, this is very 90s looking. Fairly simplistic bed, but looks comfortable. Little heart pillow. Non-matching. It's great. Little cabinet there. The black mirror. That's spooky. Black mirror with no reflection. Okay, open, uh... Ah! That's a humongous looking... Either that's a humongous, um... meal, or that's a tiny little fridge. Quite a brightly glowing microwave. Probably don't want to stand too close to that. It'll make us sterile. Microwaves don't do that. But it's funny. Not really funny. A little funny. Is it, um... Oh, there it goes. Eat bento. Yeah. That sounds really good right now, actually. <coughs> nice touch with the little munchy sounds there. Cool. Alright, so what are we supposed to do? Oh, this is just... Is this like the whole apartment and that was just the bedroom? Slash, oh, it's a dining space. There's like a dining table out here too and gotta bring a flashlight. Okay. Can I, can't open that door. Pick up flashlight. What flashlight? Ah, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> What's happening there? Radio's facing me. It's not facing me. It's facing me. It's not facing me. It's a trip. Can I open? That's a much bigger fridge. Very, uh... 70s looking too. No. Oh, this is a little kitchen. Can I cook something? You gotta be able to cook something that's better than the bento. There's like no... There's like no ventilation in here. So hopefully it's electric. Suffocate. Ah. Washroom. With a... Okay, I think that's, uh, that's, that's gotta be a, um, a glitch, because that just... I don't think that valve's supposed to just be floating there. <laughs> Can we flush the toilet? No? Alright, well. Not even put the seat down. I guess we'll be, we'll just be monsters and leave the seat up. I already ate something. Oh, we need to eat something, change, and grab a flashlight. Well, we got the flashlight and we ate, so I we guess we need to change. So, something to do here. Change clothes. Okay.
Nice touch with the uh, sounds there. Very immersive. Get me immersion into the world. All right, we're going outside. And if it's anything like the other game, oh, that was such a jarring change in ambience. <laughs> it's still going even inside. <laughs> we go back. Well, let's close the door. We go back inside the apartment. Still got the outdoor sound effects. That's funny. All right. Another uh, wall there. What are we going to find, man? This is... That stereo is... There, there's some really loud critters right there. But just right there. Hey, neighbor. Mind if I look through your stuff? Walk around your patio here, see what you got. Can I open the door? <laughs> I'm such a good neighbor. <laughs> Search through your mailbox. Mikasa, Sukasa, Smikasa, right? Wow, look at that. That is cool. It's like, uh, are there actual, uh, villages like this in Japan that are just kind of, because this, this looks kind of like, I mean, it's really cool. It's really like ramshackle put together, no real roads. Oh, there's a road. There's a road. I was wondering, is like, is everybody travel by foot? Yeah, without the flashlight, even with all the street lamps going, it is really dark. That just that 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 ain't right. Hi neighbors. Don't mind this stranger walking through your place here. Up your balconies and looking at your trash cans and trying all your doors. Nothing suspicious at all about that. Oop, can I not get up there? I can't crouch, there's no way to crouch, is there? No, there's not. Well, I can't get up that, uh, those stairs, because the... Eve's in the way. Freaking Eve. Oh well. Can I climb up here? Can't go up there either. Well, that's a nice patio space. Probably don't need to be checking every corner like I like I'm doing. Ooh, little river. That's cool. So I would I was fully expecting something to pop out at me somewhere around here, but maybe it's too early on in the story for that. Or at least some like notes or some kind of a you know informational thing to give us an idea of what the story is a lonely little convenience store in the middle of nowhere oh hey dude oh it's just with that low polygon, it just and the and the like the what's clearly a photograph of somebody's face is <laughs> his face is just uh, it feels like such a, it feels like games from the nineties. Hey, dude, can I talk to you? 
I know what really happened here. What really happened here? I was called to warn you all. By the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Here! Okay. It's, it, his, it, his head lo it looks like a, a... Like a balloon that just has a face printed on it. <laughs> oh. Okay, Mr. Uh, Doomsayer. Can I buy something from the vending machine? No. Ooh. Hey, Van. You gonna start up and drive off on me? Eh, they wouldn't use the same thing twice, would they? Let's go around back. I guess I could go in that way. Cool. Ooh. What's all this? There's a there's a thing. I want to click on the thing, but nothing's happening when I click on the thing. Ooh, caution tape. Can't get through there. All right, let's go inside and wait for the day of judgment. Since I have a feeling that guy's crazy prophecy is going to be a major plot point. Oh, that's nice. Is it still going to be playing if we go back outside? No. Okay. <laughs> so we really weren't meant to go back into the apartment after leaving. Can't drink the beer. Ooh. Ah, oh, little cup noodle things. I love those. Those are so good. Rabby carrot juice. I've been drinking only that recently. Seems a little unhealthy to just drink carrot juice. Highly recommended. I wonder if that's an actual product and I can actually find it and buy some. Because now I'm kind of curious. Ah, we can go into the bathroom. Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Oddly convincing. <laughs> I think there's a little panda smoking a cigar <laughs> in the bathroom on the sign that, you know. Mr. Panda says, thank you for keeping the toilet clean. Oh, it's one of those fancy toilets. Those are so great. Can it, can, can I activate the squirt thing? Nah, I can't. Oh, I can't close it now. Well, at least it's clean. A lot cleaner than mine. Sad panda. Oh, it's motion sensing. Oh, that's cool. Is that an actual thing? I'd, I've never seen that before. Well, what if you just want to sit on the toilet seat and you don't want to lift, you don't want it to raise? Is there like a thing? Little magazines? Are these little nudie mags? They wouldn't be. I rarely buy magazines. But I do buy Austin Lee magazines. I'm not familiar with Austin Lee. Is that ATM? Can't do anything with the ATM. Ding ding! Oh, hey dude. Uh, I'll be right there guy who's probably signing my paychecks. I like how every aisle has exactly the same product. Except for the end. <laughs> it's all identical. Except for this stuff. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Looks like some are expired. <laughs> Classic convenience store. Don't throw it out. 
to sell it. Just hope they don't check it. This shelf looks fine. This shelf looks fine. Well, at least the shelf is fine. The shelf looks fine. Looks like some are expired. Oh, are we going to have to clear the expired ones out? Okay, so maybe this is a... Um, this is a, a convenience store that's on the up and up, which is always refreshing because a lot of places are just like, eh, we spent money on this. Let's sell it. Uh, thank you's choice. Thank you's choice? Hey, I'll give it a try. Is this supposed to be like, thank you? <sighs> Can I give it a try? Can't give it a try. Why can't I give it a try? Hey, guy, he's probably my boss. Oh, God, you made it. Hmm. Oh, no. It's just that I recently heard someone had fell off a bridge you just... Off the bridge you just crossed. Wow. So you thought it fell off a bridge, and you're like, Oh, good. You're alive. Great. There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha 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 ha. Ha. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, this look yummy. Whatever they are. All right, what do, sorry, what do I do? What are you waiting for? Punch in. Oh, I gotta, okay. What are you waiting for? Punch in. Okay, okay, geez. Boss is a hard ass. Punch in? Yeah, why not? We're on the clock now. So let's waste time. I think some food is expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Okay, you're a manager. Okay, manager. Wait, where are you going? Use CCTV. Oh, this should be good. What are we gonna see? Oh! Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Manager just leaves his open milk there. Oh, do we have to serve a guy here? Do we have to serve this person here? Okay. Well, let me let me get rid of some of the expired stuff. Take expired items. I'm just gonna set, just set it on the floor. Wait, oh, good. I thought he walked out, like, just stole something. I'm just gonna leave it on the floor in the corner. Is that all of the expired items? Oh, hey. Uh, I'll be right with you. Just a second. Just let me, let me sanitize here, you know? Gotta be all... Social distance, COVID safe, and all that. Uh, okay. Uh... Start... Oh. Wow. You're welcome, bye! Not even a thank you. All right, nobody else come in until you take the trash out here. Okay, that that's probably what the. All right. I couldn't carry them both at the same time.
Oh, was that was that the car? Oh, that was the manager's car, I think. Just like, hey, can you do all this stuff I was gonna do? I mean, I guess he is paying me to do this, so I shouldn't, you know, whine about it. Oh man, do we have like three people coming in, or is that just coming? Ah, oh, great. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh! Thirteen bucks an hour, night shift. Wow! <laughs> that's a pr that's pretty good. I mean, I'm in California, and that's... Well, still, but... Oh, hey, truck! Delivery, I guess. Oddly stiff center turning truck. What? Hi there. Oh, I, I guess I'm accepting the order inside. Is this pretty much the whole game? I just kind of, uh, you know, go through the day to day. It's kind of late for delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. Think this is for you. Weird. Receive. Take it home. Yeah, chose yes. Probably was a bad idea, huh? Take this weird, creepy package home. What is this? Oh, good, it's a videotape. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be good, isn't it? Yes. Let's watch the, let's watch the spooky videotape. I've seen enough Ring movies to know how this is gonna go. Watch closely. Really? Was there more I was supposed to do at the convenience store before taking that home? Alright, well... I don't have a flashlight. Oh, there it is. What did I just hear? I just heard like a door. Click. What is with that radio? Can't take the garbage out that's just sitting there? corner of my apartment. First night. Oh man, that is a... That is an awful noise. Can't oh, no, we can't close the door now? What the heck? Oh, and it's like way darker. Is that the bridge? This is the bridge. And there's the convenience store. Oh, hey manager. Yeah, look, I know I kinda just ran off. Hey, hey! So, I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Did I report that? I noticed that, I don't remember reporting it. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Ah, pfft. sounds legit. 
Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? Idiot. I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real, after all. Totally not foreshadowing events that are probably going to occur. The doors that I just left open are, are now closed. Good. Uh, oh, right. You probably want me to punch in, huh? Would you please punch in? All right. Well. Sure thing, boss. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. First person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. First person. I'm like the only, as far as I can tell, the only one who works here. Because you just like walk out the minute I clock in. I guess he's there all day, so. Alright, let's use CCTV. Again. Doo doo, doo doo, doo doo. What the hell? Oh, is that is that some old old lady? Oh yeah, it's an old lady with a walker. I thought it was like a zombie or something. <laughs> oh god. Oh somebody left the lid open, eh? It's a little bit more than that. Oh, she's going to take a little bit of time, isn't she? She just, like, comes up and flips the camera off. <laughs> Maybe we should be nice and go ask if she needs help. Probably decisions to be nice are probably important in this. Oh, okay. Well, she's gonna use the, um, yeah, okay. Well, leave it to it then, lady. Alright, I guess we gotta deal with the... Oh, hey, little rat. How do I, how do I deal with them? Boy, they're really not scared of me, are they? How do I take care of the rodents? Oh, is this where the camera was? That in that video? Okay, how do I take care of the rats? It's gonna be another one. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, hey, dude. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up! Fine. Dick. <sighs> That's what you should say. Let's go get it your own damn self. It's not what I'm paid for. Okay, throw it at him. Okay, just drop it in front of him here. There's your frickin' beer. There's second beer. Whoa. Yeah? Here. Drink your beer. Douche. Oh, it's five cans of beer. That's four cans of beer. Oh, I guess we've got the five cans there. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Yeah, yeah, screw you, man. Just go real slow. Oh, there it is. I really wish I could just throw it at him. It's your frickin' beer. Bag of cigars. There you go. 
Oh, hold on. Having some trouble with the machine here. Beep boop, beep beep, beep beep boop. Uh, looks like I have to switch to the other machine. Hold on, sir, I'll be right with you. This will just take a moment. Darn. And there we go. Let's just reach out and give it a little skin. Thanks, Dick. So long. Ah, oh, ladies out of the bathroom. All right, let's go try to figure out a way to deal with the rats. Is it, um... How do I do that? Are there rat traps somewhere? Oh. She's just standing there? I miss. It's a scary face. At least she's happy. Huh? <sighs> huh? Where's Ken Kun? You know where Ken Kun is. I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? Whoa, chill out, lady. How dare you? Whoa! Hey! Well, that, that wasn't a, that wasn't happy dialogue for such a smiling face. Yikes, somebody's upset. Oh, there we are. Ah, rat poison, that's what we'll use, we'll use poison. Right, the poison, the poison for rats, the poison chosen specifically to kill the rats, rat poison. That poison. We're just spraying rats like they're roaches. <laughs> like, raid. <laughs> oh, God. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. There's four. There's six, right? Where are the rest of them? Ah, oh, great. Freaking customers. Yeah, that's gonna be that freaking door going wackadoodle again, isn't it? I'm busy! I'm trying to spray rats! Shove off! We're gonna poltergast. Alright, where are the rest of the rats? Oh, there's there's another one. Alright, there's one more left somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, killed all six rats. Good, good. Let's go. Get spooked by something else, I guess. So far, there hasn't been any, like, jump scares like there were in the, the other game. Every time I hear that, it sounds like gravelly breathing. It's like the music. Can I turn it off? Can I turn off the stupid broken door? Let's use the CCTV. Oh, that's creepy. Oh. 
Okay. Now things is getting a little interesting. It's easier to see the vehicle through the glass. All right, what's this one gonna be? Another spooky s videotape? I remember you. Good to see you again. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend. Oh. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online? Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Package? Seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. What are you talking about? Oh. That package. Give package. Thank you, sir. There he goes. I don't think I'm supposed to go back home yet. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Second night, okay. That was... There we go. Is that a stick of dynamite? Oh, it's an umbrella. <laughs> this is a stick of dynamite. It's like, oh, opened it inside. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not bad luck at all. All right, flashlight. That sounded like it was a knock on glass. Open it. Should we? Yeah, why not? It's kind of hard to open it through the door, isn't it? Against my better judgment. Watch closely. It's the area out back of the convenience store, I think. Okay. So, so far not too frightening, but just weird. How dark is it now? Pretty dark and pretty wet. Walking to work in the rain. Where's the manager? Manager! We'll read that later. Just left the door open? This is some creepy music that's playing. Oh! 
Oh God! Screw you, you dick! Yeah, you better stop. Promise I won't do it again. Yeah, I'll punch you in the. Can I punch him? What? Someone's been sending you VHS tapes? That sounds perfect for a horror flick. Hmm. Probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on, it's just a video. You're just a video. Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. Oh, I need to... <clears throat> Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. Great. All right, well, if I punch in, will you get the heck out of here? Jokester. All right, well, let's go do that. Guess that just that one particular section of all of these is just very popular. <laughs> Even though there's like duplicates on every single other shelf. So long, manager. Let's go watch the closed circuit TV. Okay, that was, um... That was a, that was a spooky kid thing. You know what sound, you know what would be a really good idea? Why don't we go out and investigate that creepy crab child? Sounds smart, doesn't it? Yes, sounds incredibly smart. Let's go do that. Oh wait, do we have more things to stock? We do have more things to stock. All right, well, should we should probably do our. Not cool. Come on, let me out. There's customers I need to help. Ugh, all right, you just wanted me to... I guess you didn't want me to start with that one. All right, these look like magazines, don't they? Oh, they're... Oh, no, they're not. They're these things. Hey, dude. Are you a... Are you a painter? Is that what you're doing? All right. Uh, okay, fine. How may I help you? I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in, uh, desperate in keeping the food fresh. Well, I mean, that is important. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. He pays a lot of us well, apparently. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check out, check the outside units and head right out. My guess, he gonna die. All right, let's restock. Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen here. I like how he doesn't have any like umbrella or any other kind of rain gear. He's just sitting out there in the rain, staring at the HVAC unit. Oh, is he done? That was rather quick. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Nice and clean. All right, let's scan. Thank you. Come again. 
Hey. Aren't... Are you the only one working here? Why? Who wants to know? I can't believe this. What kind of a manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? Dot, dot, dot. I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Oh, well, thank you. That'll... I'm betting that'll come in handy. She knows something. What's this say? Some products are missing. Oh, right, we're still on night two or whatever. I'm really curious. If we go out there and, uh, and try to go through where that barricade was. What was that? Oh, it's the toilet. Well, I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to go out here. Is that a shrine? No. Oh, God. It's just a shack. It's locked. Probably a body of a kid buried in there. As the door slams and locks behind me. Yeah, saw that coming. Saw that coming a mile away. Hello? Aw, oh, really? Come on, kid. Come on. Yeah, I know what you're doing, but now I gotta clean up your mess. Oh, I can't clean up his mess? Come on, you little brat. You little brat. I like how that milk is still sitting there. Well, that was, um... Interesting. Thanks a lot, woman. I made my camera all blurry. Oh, and you made more of a mess. Seriously? Come on. Pick up talismans. Oh, yes. Let's pick up the talismans, because that seems smart. What do we do with them? Exercise the door. I'm pretty sure that apparition was not friendly so we probably shouldn't have done that I'm unsure as to what we're supposed to do now do we just wait watch for peeps on the CCTV Oh, 
Well, what are we? Do what do we do now? What do I do? What do I do? I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Hey, what do I do here? Do I fiddle with whatever this guy did with the no? Oh. Oh. A monkey wrench. Open AC. That's what I was overlooking. That took me way longer than I would have liked <laughs> to figure that out. What the hell? He was just standing there, too. The manager. Oh, crap. Four. It's gonna be like the ring, right? Is the manager behind this? So we're going to die on the fourth night, right? That's the night. All right, let's watch it closely. What a nightmare. Was that all a dream? I don't think it was a dream. Yeah, let's pick up the flashlight. At least it's not raining on us this time. Punching in. Whoa. There's TVs all over. 
Turn it on? No, I don't want to turn it on. That's stupid. Why would I turn it on? Great. Do I have to? <laughs> I can still use the CCTV. I can't go out back with it though. The kid just walking around on the camera. It was it over here? Is that right? Oh, it was on the wrong side. Okay, I think I got the wrong one there. Okay. Yes. I think we have it. What? Is that wrong? I don't think that was wrong. Nope, that was right. The question is, what's going to happen? Now that we've done that. Well, we were given the... Uh... Back here. Oh dear. Oh crap. What?
But so far, this hasn't been as, like... As scary as the Inunaki Tunnel was. It's just kind of surreal. Great. Oh, do I have to walk outside? Oh, good. Yes, let's bring the spooky tape home. And we're going on night four now, aren't we? Yeah. So that was the number that was on there. It means we're probably going to die that night, right? <sighs> we got three choices here. We can put it in the box, put it in the VHS, put it in here. put it in all right let's watch it let's watch it first are you sure they're asking me to confirm my choice okay so that's um seems like end game here Shouldn't have watched the dip. Oh, we're pretty dead. Yeah, I think we died. <laughs> yeah, the end. <laughs> Okay, so less, uh, less jump scares and more, um, cameos. Austin Lee is Austin Lee Magazine. Look up who Austin Lee is. Austin Lee is an American artist based in New York. Is that the same guy? Anyway, that was an interesting game. Yeah, much less uh, jump scares and much more, um, much more surreal and dark. Um, I'm going to play it a couple more times as I did with Inunaki Tunnel to see if I can get different endings. I'm, I think that... I'm not sure if the choices I make early on make a difference. I might have to play it a little while to figure that out. Like, um, what if I don't watch the tape? Or I don't take it home? Yeah, at least that uh, little bit at the end there. I want to see what happens if I throw it out and what happens if I uh, put it back in the box. I'm, I'm assuming this is based on another urban legend from, uh, from Japan, I guess. Um, but I'm not familiar with this one. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, take a quick break, come back to it, and I will, uh, you know, par for the course, just fast forward through the superfluous gameplay until I get to the end. There we go. All right, let's power through it.
Decision time. Fourth and final night. Now, two more choices to make. Do we put it back in the box? We've already done the video of playing it. Let's put it in the trash. Throw it away. Are you sure? Yes. Let's see what happens. So far, it's the same ending. Yep, think we're gonna die. Okay, so playing it, throwing it away, both result in the same ending. What about... Still standing there? Ha! <laughs> he is. Hello, Hamada. Yep, you do you. <laughs> He's just gonna keep standing there. Still here. <laughs> I wonder if you work for free if you get uh, if you get an alternate dialogue or something. That'd be funny. Hey, are you the only one working here? No, my manager's right there. Can't believe this. We kind of yeah. Thanks for the talisman or the um, charm, but <laughs> dude's like right there. It's still progressing, even though the manager is still still here. Let's see how long he stays for. I wonder if I just don't punch in at all, will he still be there after I find the dead, um, the dead manager? Well, then again, I, I think that it transports me back at the end of that, right? There he is, he's 
dead. Now, I wonder... Dude! <laughs> Hey manager, you don't look very dead. Your uh your your doppelganger corpse is in the in the back shit. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Alright, final choice. On the fourth night. And the manager just appears in the apartment. All right, send it off to someone else. So basically we're just, I guess we're pushing the curse to someone else. What ending do we get here? I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. Idiot. <laughs> when I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in such a short span, my, limp my mind could not keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Ine uh, inevitably, I had to sit down in a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned on the internet, turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles on forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment was strange, on a strange forum stood out to me and said there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments in 2009. There was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man who killed his the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off at grocery shopping at a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it is said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured on, uh, onto her along with her child in her stomach. Ugh! I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and he had, to, had complained several col uh, to several colleagues and on the day of the incident it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what that family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Uh, Hoso, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then, with a shivering voice, he said, The manager is dead. I couldn't breathe. So it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Hosi, Hoso said that there was an old storage behind a convenience store and he was found there a day after his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job feeling uh, with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and I wouldn't be able to help but try to pass as quickly as possible so as not to go in and look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seemed to be due to poor management, but further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze, de haze a bit. One day, as I, was, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard the child's voice there. Uh, a child's voice. There I saw a woman. When I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. Oh, those were rusted nails in the store. Well, that was really hard to read. I, I was speeding up at the end because it was scrolling by so fast that I couldn't read at a consistent pace. Slowing down the scrolling a bit would have been helpful. Well, that was... Uh, 
That was interesting. Not quite as um, uh, not quite as much excitement as there was in uh, the Inunaki Tunnel, but I think this is one of their earlier pieces. So overall, pretty good, I'd say. <laughs> Crediting the Cup Ramen label. That's good. Oh, those are these are all um, uh, Patreon supporters. Cool, 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 cool. So they each got their own um, their own thing in the game. Well, that's neat. Anyway. Uh, I will be, I am planning on playing the rest of these, or at least the ones that will run on my computer. And, uh, regardless, at any rate, thank you for joining me this evening, and I will see you, uh, in the next one. Take care.